Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a Princess Connect video. I know it seems like I haven't been posting pre-con videos, but to be honest, my time is a little bit strapped now. You know, like COVID's finishing up and then, you know, we're going back to work and all this and that. And then we've got a whole bunch of new games that are coming out and that are really, really cool. But otherwise, let's talk about today's video. Today, we are going to be talking about Clan Battle because Clan Battle has reached its conclusion. I am uh, really tilted. I'll show you guys my personal logs, but like... I did so, so, so bad. Like, oh God. So guys, the first thing you'll notice is that out of the 15 hits, I believe I hit the crab about like 10 times. Like, look, on one day, I had to hit him three freaking times, man. And unfortunately, crab has a lot of RNG and I'll run you guys through a couple of timelines today and like kind of share what I've learned. Because as you guys know, a whole bunch of these bosses come back in rotation. Like we've seen the orc guy before. This is the first time seeing Nightmare, but like he'll definitely come back. And you guys already know how to deal with Griffin and Whiffin, who I've only got to attack one each. Again, don't look at these scores too hard because like it's quite disgraceful. I lost the RNG roll in a lot of them. And I know it looks really high and you guys are going to be like, oh man, like, oh, this, look at this guy complaining about his like really high scores. The thing is when there is a baseline and there's an expectation, like other people have hit this higher score. Like for example, uh, this crab, a lot of people with the same team are able to hit like, let's say 600K. And so it feels really, really bad. You know, you drop 40K, you drop 40K over 15 attacks that's like 600k if everybody in your clan drops 600k that's a massive massive difference but yeah this is kind of what it looks like and this is a couple of the team comps that i used so <laughs> by the end of it i was a crab expert man i was cooking up those crabby patties so let me introduce you to a couple of the runs that i did because i had to record them i just didn't have time and i just wanted to show you guys a couple of the runs because like a it actually touches on a lot of the principles that we talk about for clan battle and also b i just wanted to like show you guys how rng can really screw you if there is anything that i learned from like this clan battle it's that rng is going to cock me one way or another like you guys can see here this comp 566k i think the identical comp on one day i did freaking 500k i lost freaking like 60k damage because like Ilya decided to crit herself like oh god and then if i come back up over here you see this comp it's 829k if i come down here identical comp down here freaking 766k i've dropped 60k there i've let all my other bros down like it's it's really cringe to be honest but yeah all right let's get into some of the videos and break them down and that kind of like discuss the learnings all right guys so here is my first run so as you can see this is the orc boss orc boss lap two you can definitely use a similar timeline like this for like your future endeavors when he comes back the team that i'll be demonstrating today is miyako kari makoto kokoro and mitsuki miyako three star is enough however we do have the kari makoto at five star mitsuki at five star and kokoro at four star i don't believe there is any of like the oh kokoro is going to get bricked at five star anymore or whatever i think everyone's just slammed cockro to five star and if i could i would all right let's just get into the video and see how we do so i believe for this one we're going to be looking at like a lot of defense breaks and cancellation so one interesting tech that we do is actually cancel miyako's invincibility and the reason for that is that so miyako will invulnerability at exactly the right moment on top of that we also cancel mitsuki's curse because it actually helps us get the field out like at a specific time that we want so again this timeline has been heavily optimized let's see how we go so i'm gonna try to get that bar out of the way so i think we speed up and then eventually we're gonna be i believe we're gonna do like makoto's yubi into like kari's yubi i'm just gonna make this a bit smaller so that you guys can see the tp bars all right here we go and we're going and we're going and at about 103 i believe or 102 i think is like when we use our first yubi so i'm just going to like two times speed up until then and uh, a slowdown. So we see here 104. This is one of the first principles. She's going to auto attack and I'm going to UB right after. Super basic principle. It's animation canceling. I'm going to animation cancel her auto attack. What this means is that I'm going to hit him and then I'm going to use the UB right after so that there is no like after cast delay. Normally what would happen is that after you hit him, she would just stand there for a while, right? And so that is what I am about to do. So let's do the auto attack. Bam, right into UB. Did you see that? Okay, that is actually really, really hard to see. Bam. Like you see her swing her blade. Bam, and right into Yubi. That's exactly what I'm talking about. After that, you can see me like frantically spam clicking the Kari Yubi because like she has to get it in before the boss Yubis me back. So look at that. It's, it's, some of these timings are really, really tight. So that, that's just how it is. All right, so after that, we have we have Mitsuki's. Look, Mitsuki's Yubi is up, but I'm not using it because I'm saving it for a time where she would be able to do more damage with it. The second kind of like reason that you would save Mitsuki's Yubi is that you want to use it to cancel her curse skill. The 
reason that you cancel her curse skill is so that you can manipulate the circle to come up at a certain time. So I believe what happens next is Kokoro is actually going to get spammed at about 49 and like she's going to get her UB off then. So as you can see, I'm frantically clicking here and she is actually going to get her UB off and I've canceled her tri slash. You guys already know what Kokoro's UB does. It gives you the big physical and magical attack boost and you can see our Makoto, Kaori, everyone's about to get their UBs off. So this is pretty big. However, the reason you need to spam it and like cancel tri slash is to make sure that you get like the next ones in. Like I said, all of these timelines are very heavily optimized. There is a purpose to everything. So let's just keep it rolling and let's see what we get. So we've got the heal, we've got like the buff. You can see everyone's got the attack buff. And next, I believe we got Mitsuki canceling the curse. Look, the curse is happening right there. And if I play this, you're going to see the cancel. Bam. See, the next frame right after that, you're going to look, look, pay attention, Mitsuki. Cancel the curse because what's going to happen is that I'm going to get that circle exactly at like one second left, I think. And it's, it's just so crucial to like actually get these timelines, right? So let me show you guys that again. We've got auto attack cancel into a UB from Kari and then we've got a Miyako into like the defense down. This is the perfect time to Miyako ult. 13k like you know if she crit I don't know if she'd crit but if she did that'd be like a 26k that's pretty big. All right so what we have next is Makoto's ult coming up so you can see that I did not use Makoto's UB and the reason is because at this point in time there is just not enough like defense down to do like significant damage so what happens next is I believe like the Mitsuki field comes out and the uh, how did you see the how there and then we're going to Makoto ult right after that and then what we're going to have is I believe the orc chief is going to actually like UB us yeah that's right so if I didn't UB in that freaking split second that means that I wouldn't get like all of that TB gain that I'm about to get so watch this bam that's that's massive and we've got auto cat cancel like Kari it's this is just like I've practiced it so much like this is so sweaty my guys this this stuff is so so sweaty all right what do we got next I believe we've got a uh, Makoto combo into like everybody else and we've got a Kokoro spam I think so yeah this this stuff is just like so hectic I don't know if there's any more learnings from this timeline in particular so you can see that like another another animation cancel like right after she hard slashes yep boom right into the UB, right? And you can see me pausing a lot. And the reason I pause so much is because like I am constantly checking the freaking timeline. You can see that this UB does 27K damage, whereas the last UB did 16K. That means that there is more defense down here, but like the people who made the timeline, they're all like, well, this is probably like the optimal amount of damage that we can do. All right, let's just let this thing keep playing. I don't think there's too much to learn. Midline thrust, attack, cancel, and then uh, yeah, another check because you know, I'm looking at what do I do with the Mitsuki UB, right? But what we also have is is like, what do I do with the Cockroach? I think it's like a Cockroach spam, something like that. So, yep, we get attacked like that, and that's all good. Cockroach spam. All right, guys, so after spamming Cockroach, we're in the end of the battle. We've got like all the buffs, and we're about to slam the Makoto UB, and the Kaoru UB, and the Mitsuki UB, and even the Miyako UB. So, let's have a look. So, I believe at one second, we get the Makoto UB up. So, let's, let's have a look at this. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, animation cancel that. Makoto Yubi goes off. I'm spamming Mitsuki's click. I'm spamming Kaori. I'm spamming freaking Miyako right after that. And so 43k, you guys already know that is like the damage that you need to be doing. If your Kaori is like fully equipped and she is five star, then she's going to be doing at about like 43k with all of the defense down buffs. If you're hitting only like 20k or like 16k or whatever with Kaori, it just means that you're not hitting it at the right times. All right, so I think that's it. Let's just like roll the Miyako and that's probably about it. Oh, what the f- I, d I didn't realize that we freaking critted with Miyako, but that's a freaking- <laughs> That's a 27k crit and that actually adds to my damage up to like almost 900k for this one. I think 900k is okay. I don't think it's the best, but it's definitely not the worst. All right, guys, moving on. I am about to show you guys my crab, <laughs> my freaking Tamaki uh, tank into the rest of the mage team. So let's see how I do here. I'm pretty sure I do relatively well for this one. Like I've, I've done this one so many freaking times that like I, I know it by heart, like First thing that's going to happen is Ilya is going to get real freaking low. I'm going to cancel her own bloody sacrifice because she just she just can't tank, man. And so that's one of the learnings of like, if you're going to use Ilya, you kind of need to gauge the risk. So right now I am in post enrage. So I am taking more damage from this Krabby. But if I was in pre enrage, I believe there is a point where you can actually be like, actually, I'm going to take the self damage and just keep going. However, to get to that safety net, I do need to cancel the first instance of self damage before I can like, you know, go be a little bit bit more ballsy. 
So you can see that, like, you know, she is chunking herself down. She's she's killing herself more than the boss is killing herself. All right, so here we go, 108. I think it's about 105. So like, you know, she's looking real freaking low. And so we're about to take some massive self damage, the bloody spear. So you can see I canceled it immediately. All right, so let's let this play out. And like, we are doing some damage and we're getting some HP back. So now I am safe again. I might be able to take more risks later on. And for Tamaki, okay, so this one's an interesting one. For Tamaki tank or like, so you see like how there are four mage characters and only one physical character. Because there is only really like one source of physical defense down and that's in Kiaru's like, skill where she does like defense down on both of the defenses so if i remember correctly she does 40 physical and magical defense down it's obviously most ideal to you be with tamaki when you have that defense down buff on them right and if you look over here yeah look at that we've got it however there's also another decision that you do have to make when you're playing these kinds of comps where you have a dps up front and that is you've got akari and like you can save tamaki's ub until you have akari's ub and the reason is because you can pop akari's ub before you pop tamaki so that tamaki will heal more at this point in time it's not a concern my tamaki hasn't gotten crit she's at no risk of dying so i'm just gonna like slam that okay so let's just keep moving on and see where we go so i believe uh we get the akari ub very very soon it's just a lot of clicking and you guys wonder why I have RSI like my freaking hands hurt like hell so what's about to happen here is that she's going to do the impish kiss which is the defense down you can see that everyone's got their UBs about to go off so I'm gonna wait till this actually hits and then UB hopefully this will give us the biggest damage and so boom defense down you see that arrow you see that freaking arrow all right here's me pausing again because I'm checking timelines but you see that arrow when that arrow comes down this blue arrow here that blue arrow animation signifies that the hit has registered and so you can actually proceed to keep going the reason I'm not not spamming the rest of the UBs is because I have all the time in the world but not only that it's because like their animations are still playing out for their previous skills you can see over here Ilya is looking a little bit frustrated and that's because she is about to do the slash thing which is actually going to take her HP down even lower however immediately after that I'm going to cancel the rest of the animation by throwing in the UB so that is exactly what's going to happen I believe slash and then boom now that's really interesting because she actually gained HP and that's because of the Akari buff so like I said guys like if I could have it my way I would actually activate Tamaki's UBs so that she actually gets topped up because she actually gets really really freaking low later on however in this instance we are prioritizing damage so this is what's happening and i don't think tamaki's ub is actually up okay let's play this through and after this what's going to happen is we're going to have kiaru's lightning ball and then we're going to animation cancel that so boom did you see that did you guys see that let me, let me show you guys again so you're going to see kiaru's lightning ball it's going to land and then i'm going to ub right after it's like around here bam see okay cool oh i actually lied so tamaki's ub is actually up so i could definitely have ub'd here i really really should have ub'd here and that is definitely an optimization that could have been made to this timeline all right so after that we've got kyoka she's finishing off her attack you can see the ice goes here so right after that i am going to finish off her skill all right guys we've got kyoka last and you can see that she is mid like animation of her skill the ice lance skill and so only after the damage numbers pop up am i like assured that the hit has actually registered so i will go ahead and ub right after that boom and there we go. It's such a shame that I didn't activate the Tamaki Yubi. It would have given me a lot more assurance because like she just freaking auto attacked, I think. It's that that's, that's like the worst use of like the Akari lifesteal. Like that would she would have been full health if if I had just done it like the right thing. All right, so let's just keep going and we are going to just keep playing through, I believe. I think the timeline here is just that we are just going to use Ilya's UB whenever it comes up with an animation cancel on an auto attack. So, uh, oh my god, okay. So, this is dangerously close. So, here is the decision, right? Like, so if the next attack was like the self critting skill, I would definitely have cancelled it. And the reason that you need to make these decisions is because the boss, he actually stuns you. And when he stuns you, it actually alters your timeline a significant amount. So, what I'm saying is that I need to be very wary. Like, you know, if you don't have the timeline in front of you, you need to kind of like see what's about to happen. If it's a self damaging skill, you freaking cancel it. But if it's an auto attack, you let it play out and then you animation cancel it. So, I believe it's just an auto attack. Bam. And that's fine. That is completely fine. As you can see, my Tamaki is getting a little bit low. And so I believe it's about here that I actually hold her UB and we get Akari's UB first. So <laughs> there's me freaking pausing the game again because I can't remember my timelines. All right. So she's going to do a Shadow Bolt. Bam, animation cancel that. And then we've got the green skill and we are going to get healed. There is no risk. There is no risk. What I do want to say is that Ilya, well, Ilya herself has a lot of risk, right? Because like, okay, 
Here's another interesting one. Let, let me talk about Ilya's first. So Ilya's risk is that if she ever self crits, like you'll know that she's going to die. So we saw how insanely low she actually got there, right? And we didn't have an option to UB earlier. Ilya is just like so risky. I'm pretty sure I used like almost all of my resets on the Ilya comp. All right, so let me unpack what I just saw here. So that is the animation cancel for Kyoka because this is the first time and probably not the last time that we'll be using Kyoka. So the animation cancel that I'm talking about is Kyoka's magical surge, which is her a magic attack buff. The cancellation for this is that the moment that you see the text, the attack buff is already applied. So what that means is that you can cancel the rest of the animation by just hitting her UB. And that is exactly what I do. So if you notice, she is going to magical surge and I'm going to UB like right after. Uh, okay, that was like, kind of like my broom of fingers, but like it... it it was, it was, you guys see what it was supposed to be, right? Next, we've got the lightning sphere from Kiaru and that is going to land and we're going to cancel the rest of the animation with her UB. So... And then animation cancel, nice. And then last, what we have is the Ilya UB. So I believe she is going to chop herself again. And then we're just gonna animation cancel that just, just freaking cause, right? Because like, I, I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos. Like hopefully you guys have watched like the clam battle, like fundamentals or preparation or stuff like that. But like the number one reason that you actually animation cancel is so that they can get more attacks out, right? If you force a skill to end early, it means that you've actually made them like move their timeline up, right? So a skill, for example, that would take normally about like three or four seconds. If you animation cancel it, it's only going to take like one or two seconds. It means you've moved the entire action pattern up like by two seconds. And if you do this, or if you do it in certain ways, you actually like manipulate the timeline but even if you're not manipulating the timeline at the very least you're getting extra auto attacks in sometimes it doesn't matter because Kyoka is freaking buffing herself like every second attack but most of the time it definitely does matter again guys if there is nothing else that you guys take away from this at least animation cancel like the auto attacks or like the, some of the skills and stuff it's not always better but like most of the time it is way better all right guys I think that's kind of it like this Krabby has had enough of me honestly I've had enough of him like I've, I'm so tilted but yeah guys like to be honest honest that's kind of it for this one there's not too much else to talk about honestly i recorded like another two or three videos but like we just don't have enough time to go through them all they would really be showing is the same kind of stuff you know like it's the animation cancelling it's the timing it's getting those skills out during the defense downs if your kari is five star or even like four star or something the max damage that you're able to do per ub is about like 37 to 43k at the very least if nothing else a learn to animation cancel but also b like make sure that whenever kari uses her ub that there is always defense down on there. You guys already know it. Kari does like the most damage out of everybody right now. And there's not many people that actually like replace her up until maybe in a few months time. And I guess the last thing that I want to reiterate is that most of you are not even going to be able to like build these teams. So that's why like learning the fundamentals or like learning the thinking about like behind why we do each of these actions is way more important than just like copying this. There is a pretty big chance that you're not going to have like a five star Tamaki or a five star Ilya or like you're missing like a couple of these pieces. But yeah, Aside from that, I don't think there's too much to talk about. Like, if you have any questions, definitely drop them down in the comments below. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap up the video here and you guys already know what's about to come. And that is the secret question. No, I think today we get a secret message. The secret message is tilted because that's all I am. Because like all my clanmates are hitting way better than me. Unfortunately, I am a sandbag. And so I should just like roll over and cry. Guys, if you could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. It just lets me know that you've made it to the end of the video. And I really appreciate that. Otherwise, you guys are already know what to do if this video has helped you kind of or was kind of entertaining consider a like a sub a comment all of that jazz but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye